All right, Rachel. It's the first time you've done an anime convention, small hotel, well-run anime convention, right? I was the one who pretty much got all of those good ones throughout the year. What's your What's your experience? Your first hotel anime convention that went awesome. I don't know what you want me to say besides awesome. You said that went awesome. Like what? I like making money. Well, sure, but it's a different experience than a Comic Con to do one of these this size. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you it feel was. like you actually got to talk to more folks that came by the table than when we're crazy out of our like Rhode Island? Oh yeah, I mean it wasn't Rhode Island, but um, it definitely requires more people to do another Rhode Island. So there are a good number of people here, and they bought stuff. So right. that's good. And the books? Yeah, sold some books. Although it was weird that we didn't see anybody who had bought books at that AFO. That was weird, at AFO. Yeah. That's a little weird. Maybe we're still in the 10 month time window? I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to figure that part out. Yeah. So we usually, you guys never usually get to see this part of it because it takes so long to break down. You're starting to see kind of the bare bones of the fixtures. I've got the mini prints, we're getting ready to put the drawers away. We leave the bookmarks out to the very last, uh, but thankfully you can see some missing Color World Illustrated, um, some missing Color, uh, Color World Originals. So yeah, I mean, it was a really great weekend. It was really nice for Rachel and I to get to spend time. Uh, some of the days, my parents had really good time with the kids and some of the days it was a little crazy. Uh, Starcraft was a big, we did a, we did a lot of money. what? 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 Well, I was just saying that, like, a lot of times you can feel like, you're like, man, it's so busy. Like, I definitely made a lot of money. But this one, it was like, it was not so busy that we couldn't, like, stop and like, take a break or breathe or whatever. So, that was really nice because usually you have to work hard if it's like one of those shows where you make a lot of money. You, like, you go and you go. finish the weekend and then you're just like, what does that mean? <laughs> right? Yeah, this wasn't like that. It's, it was like laid back, but we still made money, which was nice. A lot of people bought um, a lot of prints, but I think that's mostly due to the fact that we have a lot now. We have a lot more now than oh, we yeah. did last time. That's always true. Pretty much every show, it's true that we have more stuff, more stuff than we did last time than we did before. But we have even more stuff than, than we, we had did the last, last time. time. We said we had more stuff, <laughs> and then when we do stack anime, we'll have even more stuff that we had. Yes, with any luck, right? I'll figure that part out. I am logistics. Yeah, getting our logistics. Yeah, so that was good. That was nice because after uh, Rhode Island, I think we felt like, oh man, there's no way we can do shows separately now. But unless it's like a hundred thousand people, we can handle it. I think solo, right? Maybe fifty thousand. Out of a 000? ten by ten, sure. Yeah. The problem is doing a ten by twenty. Oh, you well. can't do a 10 by 20 by yourself. So you yeah. have to limit how much you could sell in order well, to Well, you do can. It just depends on the size of the show. Because we've done 10 by 20 spaces. I have. The last show we did, in fact. And Super Mega Fest. Oh. We did. And yeah. yeah. But I did a 10 by 20 at Cincinnati Comic Expo, and it was nuts. I literally had to run from one end of the table to the other. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely nice. You know, especially with book sales, because book sales you gotta like, you gotta like groom people to like sell a book. It's like, this book's really great, you're gonna love it, it comes with a free bookmark, and this is what the series is about, this is what inspired me. Like, people want your whole life story in order to buy it. Yeah, book. they do, to buy it. The book. artwork, they're like, ooh, me like, here's my money. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, but the book, they're like, why did you write this? Yeah, they're like, so what inspired you? I don't know that, which I guess I understand with so many books out there. It's like, how do you pick? And the amount of time it takes to like, read, to invest in reading. It's like, you want to be sold. You got to be sold the book before you read it, which is, yeah. Just a sad truth, but it's the truth. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good show. Yeah, I, I love it. I love, and a lot of the staff is the same between AFO and this show, uh, Holiday Matsuri, which is really great. Uh, we saw a lot of the same people, a lot of the same vendors, a lot of fans came by and were like, oh, we saw you at AFO, and it was really cool. So we are breaking down now, and I, like an idiot, thought that I was going to drive to my parents' house tonight until I realized it's like six hours away. 
and by the time we finished breaking down at like 11, we would be there at five in the morning, which means we would get like a nap. Yeah, I, so I'm not gonna ruin our whole week. We already have to work um, uh, 14, 18 hour days all day this week to fix our house. So we're gonna go find out what the contractor's been doing with the last two and a half months of his life because it wasn't putting stairs into our house. Uh, so I'm gonna pray that when we walk in, there's like gonna be a pile of wood and a pile of stair treads and some railings and everything. And I've been trying to like hint over and over again, like this is when we're coming, this is what I expect, this is what needs to be done. And I really wanna be able to tell you a week from now that we're painting the house because we have to drive to Sacramento, California and be there on the 31st and maybe even the 30th, depending on if places are shut down and we can't ship to Sacramento except on the 30th, then we have to be there on the 30th to go by the FedEx office to pick up the print order. Uh, we just put in our print orders. The show did well enough that we can replenish, which is good because a lot of stuff is now missing after doing such a good show here. Um, so we put those orders in. Those are all taken care of. It's We're down to just getting the RV back um, fixing as much of the house as we can and then driving like bandits to California. So I'm a little nervous that Rachel and I are gonna end up having to drive 48 hours straight by like switching off with each other. Um, so I'm not, I'm not looking forward. I kind of want to fast forward through the next 10 days of my life or 12. I kind of want it to be January 1st and I wake up and I'm in Sacramento and I have my inventory and I'm sleeping in my RV. That is what I really want to happen. So. We love your prayers and your well wishes and your thoughts for that. We need to wake up in we need to wake up on the 31st in Sacramento, California with our inventory sleeping in our RV. Anything other than that means one of us is going to have to fly one way or the other um, which obviously isn't free. So if you're like an if you work for an airline and you have buddy passes or something like that, please feel free to contact us and say, don't worry, I can get you back to the East Coast for free or reduced or something. Because one-way plane tickets are insane. Uh, plus they're under scrutiny, because uh, obviously as a government, you have to be concerned like why is someone getting a one-way ticket, um, which is the same way for one-way car rentals. They really slam you on fees for a one-way car rental. So just, if you have a time to think about us this holiday season, that would be great. We would love that. Uh, we will be um, building stairs with our bare hands that we've never done before on Christmas Day. So we have no idea what to expect for the next week. There's a lot ahead of us, but just want to let you know that the show went really great. And, you know, so you could actually see what it looks like when we break down and the fixtures. Oh, I guess we could take a look around too. So this is what um, vendor's room look like at the end where everybody's kind of like breaking all the inventory down and uh, if you have more items like we do then you know it obviously takes longer to break down some people are really streamlined and have been doing it for a while some people are broken down because they just didn't bring a whole lot so uh, artists are usually the first to break down and then the vendors start and you can see uh, us and our next door neighbors we have to rebox everything back up and put it in all right well thank you again we're joining on this stop on the Color World Book Tour at Holiday Matsuri. This is our last and final convention on the East Coast. Uh, we will not be back to the East Coast until 2017 at the earliest. So thank you, East Coast. Thank you, Florida. Florida has been an, an awesome state for us. Thank you, everybody that came out to Holiday Matsuri. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the convention staffs all across the country that have put on great conventions. We really appreciated it. And uh, we will see you on the West Coast. The next stop on the Color World Book Tour is SAC Anime in Sacramento, California that starts on the 1st of January 2016. I'm, there will be updates before then, but that's our next official stop on the Color World Book Tour. All right, we'll see you next time.